My name is Aaron Adams. I'm the head brewer at Hydro Street Brewing Company in Columbus, Wisconsin. I went to the University of Montana where I worked towards my PhD as a forest entomologist. I studied um, forest insects, looking at bark beetles. Montana is where I learned to brew beer. So I started out extract brewing with a partial mash and uh, did that for about two years. And then at that time I moved to all grain. At the end of my time in Montana, I got hired on the University of Wisconsin. And eventually we bought a aluminum 15 gallon pot. Um, did that for eight years or so until we got the Blakemans 42 gallon and a 35 gallon or so that I just practiced for like two months before uh, before we opened here. I brewed on them here for two years, you know, two batches, four days, five days a week for those two years. You know, love them, they work great. Just the false bottoms warped a little bit, but I, with techniques of stirring, got over those challenges relatively quickly. I was doing 25 gallon batches, approximately, in my Blakeman kettles that were on my, basically my stove top. We uh, gravity feed to the basement. I was using a uh, counterflow wort chiller. Gravity feed to the basement into my plastic 55 gallon drums that they store malt extract in. We got them here and there. Then with help from the city of Columbus in Columbia County, we got a revolving loan to purchase our new system. The new system was made by uh, Peterson Custom Stainless in Watertown, Wisconsin. The local company getting something of higher quality with a better resale. And those were the reasons why we did that. Um, we ferment down in our cellar here in 55-gallon uh, fermenters. The most I've had full so far is about 28 or so at one time. In the past, I've, with my one barrel system, was able to brew five different varieties in a period of two days. Using that system, we kept about 12 beers on tap all the time in the brew pub. And it was relatively easy. You can get the variety up in a short period of time. Uh, now we're making you know, 90 to 120 gallons of beer at a time uh, over, really over the period of two days as well. Uh, brew days have gone down with the new system due to uh, cleaning and some maintenance, which is uh, fine because we get more beer. However, when you have a large number of small fermenters or making small batches, you're getting a good amount of variety. And I think when we see larger breweries, and we're by no means a larger brewery, but for us it feels so, um, may have to specialize or make more of the same kinds of beer. Mm -hmm.